Riley Sorrell are coming at you with a new food review. Today, I'm at Gatwick, and I'm gonna be showcasing the giraffe at Gatwick Airport, and at the end of this episode, letting you know whether to give this place a hit or a miss. Boom. Sesame bun, looks like cheddar, cheese, bacon, beef patty, tomatoes, lettuce, and some kind of relish. Looks like burger sauce. Yeah, these sweet potato fries, they look overcooked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they look like it. Sample the chips, sweet potato fries. This is our fork. They've been, they've been overdone. They're all right though, but they've definitely been overdone. But it's not so it's not so bad that I'd need to change it. It's all right. You know what? I think they deliberately make it like this. It's starting to grow on me. <laughs> Gonna sample the giraffe. It's a good choice. It's not the best I've had, but. What I especially like about this particular burger is how crunchy the salad is. I can taste the, uh, she called, I forgot what it's called, is it rocket? You put rocket in there? Yeah. There's so much cheese going on in here, it's just, it's bold and full of flavor. Mm. One thing though, the patty is, it's not that juicy. You know like a typical gourmet burger, as you're buying into it and all the juices are flowing and it's making a, a mess in your plate. You don't get that with this but for what it is it's alright. My meal was alright, it was neither outstanding nor disappointing. I did feel like the burger could have been better. I mean the beef patty was slightly on the dry side, I feel like the chef overcooked it a little. But everything else about the burger, from the bun, to the dressings, to the garnish, was fine. And the salad was super fresh and crunchy. The sweet potato fries, they were also very crunchy. And initially I thought, damn, the chef overcooked this. But as I started to eat it more, it started to grow on me. So for taste, it's gonna be a three and a half out of five. I would say that the level of service at Giraffe was at a level that you would expect at any eatery. It wasn't above the call of duty, but it was pleasant. Food didn't take an awful long time to arrive, and it was served piping hot. Uh, staff were friendly, and it wasn't difficult to get their attention. Then again, it wasn't very busy in there, so there you go. You'll note that I didn't take, a, take any footage of the toilets. That's because there wasn't any. They do have some toilets outside of the restaurant, which any diner in any of the restaurants in the South Terminal have access to. So I'll give this place a three and a half for customer service. I recall my meal coming to a total of £14.90, which included a bottle of sparkling water. And I left that place relatively satisfied, which is always a good thing. I felt really inundated with the menu. I mean, it was just so extensive that I didn't know what to choose and it was very difficult for me to come to a decision. So even though I'll give this place a three and a, well, I'll give this place a three out of five, I'll still give it a hit because the food isn't bad and the menu is extensive. Perhaps I didn't pick the best thing. So if you've been to this restaurant before, let me know in the comments below and what dish you would recommend. So that's the end of my review. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe. You'll find that the link for the website is in the link is in the description below. You'll also find my Facebook and Instagram there. So till next time, 